All right, what's up, one blunderbuss finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelenga Flora 2. But yeah, I did play with the blunderbuss a little bit yesterday, just to like test it out, see what it uh, actually does, but... I mean, in reality, it's still quite bad compared to other, you know, demolitionist weapons. But it's, you know, definitely not a bad pick. I mean, fair enough, you do have to have these skills to make, like, any use of, you know, the damage it has. But, I mean, if you're just like me and prefer these two over these two, then, yeah, the blunderbuss is just gonna be mediocre at best. Okay, just before we hop right into the video, I do want to give a very massive shout-out to the real Xan Hector for pledging one dollar over on the Patreon. So, yeah, Xan Hector, thank you very much for that one dollar, and for that, you also get a Strasser thumbs up. Thank you, man. On top of that, a very massive shout-out also goes out to Dr. Quantum Bunny for pledging $20 over on the Patreon. But yeah, Dr. Quantum Bunny, really much appreciate, man. That means a hell of a freaking lot. On top of that, you also get a Strasser thumbs up, Strasser with the balloon, Strasser with the beer, and the Strasser, yeah, boy, dab. Again, really much appreciate all the support over on the Patreon because it allows me to keep on doing what I love doing, and that is making videos. Again, thank you all very much, and now let's continue with the video. But yeah, today we're gonna be checking out also a custom map called So Below because it did look cool from the picture, so I just downloaded it. It, right? And without further ado, Lego. But yeah, something I did notice on this weapon is that, you know, the primary fire, you know, this thing, it's not used all that much. I mean, I just don't know. Because, I mean, for Scrakes and Flash Pawns, yeah, you're far better to just use the Shotgun Blast, to be honest. But yeah, the Blunderbuss isn't going to be worth 10 freaking bucks. Maybe? Maybe not. Can I nuke? Oh, I actually nuked. Oh, pa. But yeah, I mean, the way to make this thing a little bit... How should I say... Better for the game is just make its rate of fire a little bit more faster. And that's going to fix its freaking issues because currently it's just a little bit too slow. Oh, trick shot time. Boy. I mean, it's quite fun though. But yeah, like I said, just use shotgun blasts. It's gonna be pretty much your best friend. So yeah, what do I currently think about the blunderbuss? It is a little bit underwhelming to what I originally thought it's going to be, but... It's still not bad. I mean, if this thing was like worth, well, I'd know, two bucks would be pretty, pretty good. But nope, it's going to be ten bucks just like everything else. Well, the bloat arm's gonna do this to you because that's something you can do because the impact damage is not that bad. Oh, poor. Nice. Okay, so what do you need to know about this weapon? So, yeah, the alt fire, like I mentioned, is just going to be a shotgun blast. And keep in mind, these you know, pellets that it shoots out, they actually bounce, just like on the nail gun. But yeah, this is the primary fire, you just shoot out a freaking cannonball, and if you just click, it's going to explode, but if you click and hold, yep, this is going to be the projectile. Not sure what the hell it is, but once you let go of the button, boom, it explodes. Okay, this map, it, it just looks so freaking cool, it's just like a, a no Halloween map, pretty much. Oh, what do we have here? A sword. But yeah, I mean, with the blunderbuss, there are just a couple of cool little... How should I say takedowns you can do, which pretty much all just involve the, the shotgun blast. I mean, fair enough for flash bombs, you can use the, the primary fire because it does explosion damage. But other than that, I mean, you can just take down everything which is the shotgun blast. Boy. Oh, easy clap. Oh, look at that. But yeah, this weapon is currently in beta 1, so it might be changed or it might just, I don't know, get some animation buffs. Or should I say animation changes. Okay, didn't even kill the sun. I mean, fair enough, I just, like, missed a little bit, but, uh, who cares? Yeah, boy. But, yeah, I, mean, I would kind of prefer this weapon being, I know, like, a tier 2 weapon and being the same as Killing Floor 1's Orca Bomb Propeller, just to make that, you know, fun factor in the game. Because, you know, in Killing Floor 1 with the Orca Bomb Propeller, you don't actually have to hold the button for it to not explode. Okay, you can do that. That's gonna suck for nukes. You can just hold, and if it does slow motion, you can let go, and that's going to be a guaranteed freaking nuke. But, I mean, why would you have this thing for the nukes if you have the HRG Kaboom stick now? So, yeah, no, that's kind of weird. We can actually jump on the rocks. Oh, we can jump on the rocks. Oh, that's sad. Eat. Okay, I completely waved that one. Boy. Okay, why does it only stun? I mean, to be fair, I don't have, you know, the extra damage skills. But, yeah, I did make a little bit of a boo-boo in my HX25 fully upgraded video. It doesn't actually increase the damage overall, it just increases, you know, direct hit damage. And this one just increases explosion damage. And, you know, this one is the same as this one. So, yeah, with that HX25 video, yep, the stats, I told, are a little bit wrong. 
But I mean, I don't think anyone cares that much. Okay, Puke. Yeah, Puke, exactly. I meant freaking clown. Nice. Okay, I don't know exactly where I should go to make some freaking Shrek shots happen, but... We can, like, spin off of this. Okay, just like that, yeah, boy. Wait, where is it at? Opa. Okay, I killed the Pego. Okay, there we have a freaking Idar. Can I actually hit him? Oh, I actually got him. Nice. Okay, you go away and you go away. I mean, this is what the shotgun blast is all about. Just clears everything in front with minimal to no effort, and that is Ausk. I mean, not anymore. Okay, apparently the trader is right over here. Very cool. But yeah, I mean, this weapon does get a little bit better when you, you know, upgrade it, which is pretty obvious, but... The damage on it is quite substantial. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna get some freaking scrakes so I can show you what I mean about the freaking takedowns. I mean, you pretty much just like bash him and then just double tap him or triple tap him with... You know, the alt fire. But yeah, I mean, this weapon, I am gonna use it on the support for the next video, or should I say a video in the future. But right now, I'm just gonna use it on the demo. Yeah, boy. Oh, can I nook? Can I nook? Ooh. Blunderbuss. But yeah, I do think this, you know, holding down the button mechanic is quite unnecessary. They should have just, like, done that by, you know, default for this weapon. Tommy, look at that. Easy clap. And easy on him. Okay, I don't have it reloaded, though. Can't kill the siren yet. But yeah, man, instead of holding down the button, it should have just have a timer. I think that would be a little bit better, in my opinion. Just like the killing floor one's Orca bomb propeller. Or maybe I'm wrong. Okay, can I bounce the shot? Oh, but of course. Oh, Pego, I'm so sorry, fam. Okay, can I do some wall banging maneuvers? Kind of. Okay, that was sick. Okay, Spooder's just gonna step on you, step on you, and then... I don't know, shotgun both of you, because why not? Oh, easy. Wait, what? Okay, that is a little bit of a step on. And there we go, Usk. I mean, not anymore. But yeah, for those of you wondering why the Zeds are not actually spilling any blood or anything like that, that's because I do have to have, yep, gore set to low gore because of YouTube freaking reasons. I just love YouTube, man. Best platform 2020. Okay, can I wall bang? Okay, they just got, like, pushed to the side. That was kind of cool looking. There go. Is a clap. Do have to reload, though. Yeet. Okay, I do believe that's a flashbound, right? I mean, you can do something like that to him. You can just shoot him, and once he gets close, you can just double tap him with... The shoes gun blast. Just like that. I mean, fair enough, on multiplayer, it's gonna take, you know, one direct hit and two of these to kill him. And you do have to be quite accurate, and you don't have to, like, rage him at all. Oh, there we go, Skrook. Okay, I do have to kill that one beforehand. And now, let's just do this to the Skrooky Skrook. Yep, and that's how you do takedowns. And like I said, on multiplayer, it takes one more shot. Okay, well, I just do that. Easy. But yeah, this is how this weapon looks like with a little bit more FOE. And this is what it looks like with Giga FOE. Dude, I don't even know what the hell he's doing with his arms. Look at that reload, though. But yeah, again, my overall opinion on the blunderbuss, it could have been a little bit more fun to play with, you know, just not having this, you know, click mechanic. But I mean, that's what we have, right? But yeah, do let me know if you guys want to see some Killing Floor 1 Orca Bomb Propeller gameplay. Boy. Oh. Okay, the blow just got launched. Oh, boy, we got some fleshy puns. Okay, that's a raged one. Yeet. Oh, can I nook? Can I nook? I mean, there's nothing to nook. I should say, I don't have anything currently. Okay, that's another flesh found. All right, man. And the other one is raging at my ass. Okay, he's dead. Just gonna throw that to you. Here we go. The other one is dead. And this one, I do believe, is also dead. Nice. But yeah, once this thing is, you know, fully upgraded, it's not even all that half bad. Boy. And yeet. Nice. But yeah, the big question is, is this weapon going to replace the RPG? Yeah, probably not. I mean, even the Secret 6 buff, it's not like that much of a buff, so no one really cares about it still. Wait, what? Okay, that's a lot of spooders. I better go. I mean, I do have to heal just a little bit. Okay, time for some trick shots. Come on. Okay, I killed absolutely nothing. Wall bang. Okay, I do have to reload first. Okay, I just stunned him. Okay, can I do something? I did something. Oh my god, stalkers. Okay, time for a big-ass freaking bounce. 
Got him good. So yeah, this is what made Killing Floor 1's Orca Bomb Propeller fun. You just, you know, shoot at walls. And when the thing actually connects to like a Z, it's pretty good. Okay, quarter pound. I just want to do like something to you really quick. If I can, bash you and then shoot you. Nah, fair enough, I just like missed the head. And now the EDR is actually clapping my ass. Which is not appreciated. Boy. But yeah, pretty much bash. And... Yep, shoot with the alpha and I just like shot with the primary one. Oh boy. I mean, fair enough, I can still blow up, but I don't want to blow up. Okay, quick little cheeky heal and just like run away from the immediate bad. Oh, can I nuke? Okay, that was quite tight. Go up. Dude, I'm just gonna be killing myself with this. Dude, I can't imagine this weapon on the support. If you do the primary fire on the support, yep, you're just gonna be dealing damage. Or should I say a lot of damage to yourself. Okay, can you go away? Boy. Okay, we got a lot of VDRs. Can I trick shot him over there? Yes, I can. Didn't kill him, though. Yeet. Okay, I was gonna set a trap. Okay, yeah, boy. Got him. Yeet. Okay, I missed him, though. But yeah, but overall, this weapon is fun. Not as fun as it could have been, but it's not bad. Boy. Okay, I just wanted to hit, you know, the EDR, but the bloat will do. Okay, what do we have here? We got Usk. Okay, he's gonna eat you like that. Wait, can I shoot? I mean, just a little bit too... Too slow. Oh, whoops. Completely missed that one. Okay, so I just currently ran out of ammo, and now I just need to go for ammo. Because I do want to, you know, eat him with my... Alt fire. Oh, I just got stuck in the stairs. Go easy, plus. But yeah, overall, this map, it's pretty good. And if you guys want to go and check it out for yourselves, it's going to be linked in the description. Okay, I'm just gonna eat you with my dynamite fam. Or maybe not, because you're just doing weird movements. Oh! Nice. But yeah, man, the blunderbuss for bosses. Yep, that's not going to be fun. I can assure you that one for freaking free. Because, I mean, I do have to go up close to do that, you know, alt fire thing. So I guess we'll see how that is going to be panning out. Please, no matriarch. Give me, like, I don't know, Hans matriarch, maybe. King flesh bound. No matriarch. Oh boy. Alright man, guess we're getting the steampunk whatever the hell matriarch, right? Easy. Okay, not sure exactly where the hell she just, you know, spawned. Oh boy, okay, this single blunderbuss is not going to be that great. Oh, well, there she is. Eat! Oh, you missed. How the hell did you miss? Okay, I'm just gonna, like, dynamite your ass. Okay, you just keep on doing your attacks. Eat! Okay, it's not that bad, you know, I mean, fair enough, I'm playing solo here, so it's, you know, easier by default. But, I mean, it is the match, I'll just kite around the pillar, and everything is GG and easy, because she is giga freaking slow. Ow! Okay, I just want to, like, get rid of your freaking headpiece, fam. Boy! We did that just completely mess. Boy! Ah, shield crash, eh? Shield crash- oh my god, we're getting guitars now, oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Oh boy, she's here. Yeet. Okay, I do have to like run away from this situation. Oh boy. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, she's doing lasers again. Yeet. Okay, I do just have to like run around corners. Otherwise, I'm gonna get myself, you know, actually isolated and then just dead. Oh, I am just dead. Never mind. There's the same hell on earth. Oh boy. Okay, if I was like standing out in front of that shit. Why did you jump? Who the hell made you jump? Okay, okay, yep, you just do that, get baited, you piece of shit. Okay, this map has a lot of, you know, corners, so I can, you know, wader very, very good. Okay, of course, I just missed everything, pretty much. But, I mean, get close to the matriarch and it's pretty bad. Okay, free ammunition, don't mind if I do, I just did something with my mouse that was very freaking weird. What are you doing, fam? Okay, single player mage kirk, not the hardest thing ever. Boy! Oh, she missed! Oh, can I trick shot her? Kind of. Yeet! Bruh. Okay, that was pretty easy. I thought this was going to be hard. Oh, look at that freaking foot. Do those animations, though. What the hell are those animations? 
Nah, fair enough, it's beta 1, right? So yeah, this is pretty much it for some blunderbuss gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to go and try this out for yourselves, then the command is going to be in the description. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy it, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.